Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the 17th Annual Wolverine Club Athletic Awards. Please welcome Utah Valley University Director of Athletics, Mike Jacobson. Good evening and welcome. It's great to see so many of you here this evening. And um, what a beautiful group it is. Everyone looks, looks so good, so formal, so fancy. And it's great to have you here tonight, uh, this very special night. Uh, you, know, you think about um, our, each of our sports and, and how we dress to compete and uh, how unique we are to our individual sport. And uh, you think about mixing it up just a little bit. Um, you know, what if a baseball player was in wrestling tights? You know, that would look a little, little strange for sure. Or a wrestler maybe in uh, a soccer uniform, heaven forbid, you know. Um, what about, uh, you know, coaches are kind of unique the way they dress too. What if uh, Coach Hunsaker was on the sidelines in a basketball uniform? Or Coach Matson coaching third base in a suit and tie. You know, we're, we're each unique to our individual sports. We all bring a, a skill set, a talent, that as we combine them all together, we have what we hear tonight, and that is you, the student athletes of Utah Valley University of Wolverine Athletics, who continue to represent yourself and our university so well. Uh, a couple things on, um, on just how the uh, finalists and the winners are chosen. Um, Initially, we, we pass out uh, forms to each of our head coaches of our 15 sports, and we allow them to nominate members of their team for the different categories. Uh, often, they nominate someone from another sport for a certain category where they feel that they fit. And, and this is really a tough process. It's really hard for your coaches, and it's really hard for the, the group that, that makes the ultimate decision. And that group consists of athletic administrators, uh, sports information uh, people. We have faculty members on uh, the decision-making process, as well as members of our Wolverine Club. And we take it very, very serious, and we spend a lot of time on this. And uh, sometimes it gets a little heated. Sometimes there's debates and arguments. And sometimes we have to get up and walk out of the room and come back and, and start over again. And uh, I, I tell you about this just because I want you to know how important we think it is and, and how hard we work to, to make it the very best it can be. Um, we need to thank some people tonight uh, that has helped to, to make this all possible. Um, the Sorensen Student Center for the setup and everything they've done for studios and broadcasting, uh, for dining services, uh, providing the food for our spirit squad, uh, UVU spirit squad, that is going to help us um, here tonight. Uh, the Wolverine Club that uh, helps to fund this and to make it all possible. And of course, the general behind it all, which is Jared Sumption, the director of our Wolverine Club, who really has done the bulk of the work here tonight. And uh, so we hope that you uh, all really enjoy the program tonight and uh, realize it's a special night for you as we recognize you, the student athletes that have been successful in all aspects of your experience here as a student athlete, as a student, and we commend you for your efforts and your successes. Thank you. Good evening. I'm very sorry that I can't be with you tonight. The last couple of years, I've really looked forward to attending the Wolverine Club Athletic Awards. It's one of the funnest nights of the year. And uh, I would be there tonight, except uh, other critical responsibilities for the university call. And so I at least wanted to give you this greeting to tell you how proud I am of you and to celebrate in the successes that you've had this year. It's been another outstanding year for UVU athletics. You brought home the third uh, Commissioner's Cup in a row for the Great West Conference. That shows the breadth and the depth of our athletic success. Uh, across so many teams and sports. It's just such a terrific thing. As wonderful as that success is, though, I want to stress how equally proud I am of the fact that you're just great human beings and great students. We have so few problems uh, in athletics, and we have such great academic success. You really are magnificent ambassadors 
for this institution in every way, showing the great excellence and drive and competition of sports, but also the well-roundedness of student athletes who take the classroom seriously, who get out in the uh, community, get involved, and make a difference by living good lives and making a great contribution to the larger world around you. I'm not sure there's anything greater that can be said of a student athlete operation, but we can say it proudly of UVU because of who you are, because of your coaches, because of the leaders in the athletic department. I'm proud of all of you. I celebrate this success, and on behalf of the institution that you represent so well, commend you for your efforts and all that you've accomplished this year. Enjoy the, no enjoy the night and take great satisfaction in what you've accomplished. Thank you very much. We're going all the way to time. We're going all the way to time. And now for the first award of the evening, please welcome the newest additions to the athletic department, your student athlete, academic advisors, Veronica O'Brien and Cody Sparrow. Good evening. Cody and I are here to give out the awards for the female and male newcomer of the year. The newcomer of the year is given to the student athlete who is new to UVU athletics as a freshman or transfer and competed during the past year while significantly contrib contributing to his or her team. The finalists for the Female Newcomer of the Year are... Female Newcomer of the Year, Tiffany Mills, softball. Lynn Marie Nagel, golf. McKenna Tate, volleyball. And the Wolverine Award goes to Tiffany Mills, softball. junior transfer from Louisiana Monroe, Tiffany has made an immediate impact at UVU as she has been dominant in the circle for the Wolverines. She leads the team in wins, complete games, shutouts, strikeouts, and innings pitched. She is also tied for first in the nation with seven saves. <laughs> Tiffany Mills. And now the finalists for the Male Newcomer of the Year are... Male Newcomer of the Year, Sean Moish, Baseball, Trevor Sharp, Cross Country, Ethan Smith, Wrestling. And the Wolverine Award goes to... Ethan Smith, Wrestling.
redshirt freshman is a transfer from Purdue and made an instant impact here in Orem with his leadership both on and off the mat as a team captain. Ethan posted a 20-win season and finished the year by placing third at the NCAA West Regional, just missing out on qualifying for his first trip to the NCAA Championships. Ethan Smith. Handing out the awards for the most inspirational male and female athletes of the year are volleyball player Patty Hatch and her husband, baseball player Kai Hatch. The most inspirational athlete award goes wait, to the student athlete who did the most to inspire others through their play, attitude, competitiveness, and hard work. They may, have also, they may also be a player who overcame adversity to make a significant team contribution. The finalists for the Most Inspirational Female Athlete Award are... Female Most Inspirational Athlete, Abby Butler, Basketball, Camille Broderick, Soccer, Chelsea Heaps, Volleyball. And the Wolverine Award goes to... Camille Broderick. Camille Broderick has been a four-year starter for the Wolverines. During that time, she has been a three-time all-conference and academic all-conference performer. She started 64 straight games to finish her career, including all 21 games during her senior season, a year in which she suffered multiple injuries that were thought to be season-ending. But Camille fought through the pain and helped lead UVU to the Great West regular season and tournament championship. A team captain, Camille's positive attitude reflected on her team as she always led by example and always expected the best from the team, while at the same time refusing to give anything less than her best. Camille Broderick. Okay. The finalists for the Most Inspirational Male Athlete Award are... Male Most Inspirational Athlete, Joey Olson, Golf. Jake Rickenbach, baseball. Tim Roberry, outdoor track and field. And the Wolverine Award goes to Jake Rickenbach. leading the nation in runs per game as a junior in 2010, Jake Rickenbach suffered a broken arm and was unable to play last year. After playing his first three years at shortstop, this season the senior moved over to third base. He remains entrenched atop the batting order for the back-to-back -back Great West regular season and tournament champs. A four-year starter, Rickenbach, who was also an all-conference performer in 2010, continues to be a key player and team leader for UVU. Jake Rickenbach. Please welcome to the stage men's basketball player Kevin Woods and assistant to the athletic director Tracy Walk Rockowitz. All right, Tracy and I are here to present the award for play of the year. The play of the year could have been an individual effort or a team effort. There have been many exciting plays this year and it was tough to narrow it down to the finalists. And the finalists for the Play of the Year are... Play of the Year. 4x400 four Relay, Outdoor Track and Field. Reagan Benson, Soccer. Kelly Roach, Outdoor Track and Field. And the Wolverine Award goes to... The 4x400 four Relay, Outdoor oh, Track and Field.
last spring's Great West Tournament Championship here at Howe Wing Track and Field, the UVU men trailed South Dakota by one point entering the final event of the championship, the 4x400 relay. The quartet of Drew Clark, Andrew Graham, Jacob Brightson, and Skylar Burningham needed a win to help the Wolverines sweep the men and women's crowns. Burningham entered the final 400 behind South Dakota, but with roughly 200 meters remaining, he overtook the South Dakota runner helping the Wolverines set a school record time and clinching the championship in dramatic fashion. Ladies and gentlemen, for your entertainment, please welcome UVU track and field athlete, Chrissy Knowles. Oh no, here comes that sun again. It means another day without you, my friend. And it hurts me to look in to the mirror at myself And it hurts even more to have to be with somebody else And it's so hard to do and so easy to say But sometimes, sometimes you just have to walk away With so many people to love in my life Why do I worry about one? But you put the happy in my nest You put the good times in my fun And it's so hard to do and so easy but sometimes, sometimes you just have to walk away, walk away. We've tried the goodbyes so many days. We walked in the same direction so that we can never stray. They say if you love somebody, then you have got to set them free. But I would rather be loved to you than live in this pain and misery. They say the time will make all this go away. But it's time that has taken my tomorrows and turned them into yesterdays. Once again, that rising sun keeps dropping on down. Once again, you. present the awards for assistant coach and coach of the year, our Wolverine Club Board member, Dave Carlson, and your faculty athletic representative, Dr. Mike Shively. The assistant coach of the year is given to the coach who makes a difference in the lives of their student athletes, both in competition and in the classroom. An assistant coach is a major part of any program and UVU has its share of many great ones. This year's winner goes to a coach that works tirelessly on behalf of the team and who makes many sacrifices for the good of the team. The Wolverine Ward for the Assistant Coach of the Year goes to David Carter. Since coming to Orem in 2009, the Utah Valley pitching staff has improved each and every season under the tutelage of Dave Carter. In 2011, the Wolverines had their best season on the mound, setting school records for team ERA and shutouts while producing the Great West Pitcher of the Year in Jeremy Gindleck. Coach Carter, who is also in charge of recruiting, 
has helped lead the Wolverines to over 100 wins in the last three plus seasons, including two straight conference regular season and tournament titles. Coach Dave Carter. Thank you very much. I appreciate the, the opportunity to work at Utah Valley, um, the opportunity to work with good people. Uh, I appreciate the, the committee and those that voted for this. And, and I know there's other qualified coaches, and there's great examples of coaches in our department. Um, you know, I thank my, my wife, Shelby, who, um, you know, is just a great supporter of me. and and uh, she's understanding and she's a good listener. And, and uh, if there was a assistant coach's wife of the year award, she'd win it every year. So um, she's great. And, and uh, I think that, you know, to, to be a good coach, you have to have good players. And I think the only reason I'm a good coach is because we have good kids. And, and it's because, you know, some guy like Jeremy Gendlek and Preston Olson, Josh Swenson, uh, Craig Brimhall and, and Ryan Chadwick chose to come to Utah Valley and, and these other young guys too, and they do great. Um, we got a great series this weekend. You need to come out and watch them, so they'll put on a great show for you. Thank you. Without a doubt, this year has been the most successful for Wolverine athletics at NCAA level, making it very difficult choice for Coach of the Year Award. This year's Coach of the Year Award goes to a head coach who helped his team to an unprecedented season last fall. He epitomizes the toughness of a true Wolverine and has instilled that same tenacity within his team. The Wolverine Award for Coach of the Year goes to Brent Anderson. Soccer. Anderson led Utah Valley to a sweep of the Great West Conference regular season and tournament championships in 2011 and in the process earned his third straight Coach of the Year award. Under Anderson, the Wolverines have won two Great West tournament titles, two division titles, and this year won the conference's first regular season title along the way setting a new school record for wins in a season. Coach Brent Anderson. Um, unexpected, for sure. Like uh, Coach Carter just said, uh, a good coach is, a coach is only as good as his team. And uh, I think that goes, we have many layers to our team here at Utah Valley University, from our administrators to our support staff, academic advisors, compliance. And uh, you know, then we have our players and, and just everybody that gets involved in the athletic department. So uh, this really is a team award and just thank you everybody for your support. Please welcome to the stage Wolverine Club Board member Dave Rogers and women's basketball player Abby Butler. Good evening. We are here to present the award for the Individual Performance of the Year. We've had several standout performances and a, and a select few have excelled in their respective sport. Here are the finalists for the Female Individual Performance of the Year Award. Female Individual Performance of the Year. Reagan Benson, soccer. Sammy Jensen, basketball. Amanda Robinson, softball. And the Wolverine Award goes to Reagan Benson, sophomore. In the Great 
Mountain West Tournament Championship held in New Jersey, UVU and Houston Baptist had played to a 1-1 tie after 90 minutes of regulation and 10 minutes of a first overtime. Then, just 12 seconds into the second overtime, from 40 yards out, Reagan Benson scores the game-winning and championship-clinching goal. Benson, who also had two assists in the tournament semifinal, was named the tournament MVP after leading UVU to their second tournament championship in the last three years. Reagan Benson. And the finalists for the Male Individual Performance of the Year are... Male Individual Performance of the Year, Mason Casper, Golf, Jeremy Gindlick, Baseball, Rusty Jones, Indoor Track and Field. And the Wolverine Award goes to... Mason Casper, Men's Golf. Casper, who in 2011 won his first ever collegiate start, helped the Wolverines to their first ever team win at the Battle in the Tetons at Headwaters Golf Club in Idaho. Casper ran away with medalist honors, set a three-round school record of 14 under par, and in the process won the tournament by a commanding 10 strokes. Mason Casper. And now, here to present the male and female awards for Crowd Pleaser of the Year, please welcome to the stage Assistant Sports Information Director, James Warnick, and Assistant Women's Basketball Coach, Dan Nielsen. James, I'm really excited to, to have the Crowd Pleaser Award tonight, but I do want to propose that next year we have a Coach Crowd Pleaser with clips of our coaches motivating officials and players uh, the best that they can. That sounds like a good idea, but I'd have to say, we have to have a sports information crowd pleaser of the year as award, I, as well. I'd probably go to Clint Berg, he had guess. <laughs> but with that, the crowd, the crowd pleaser uh, is a student athlete whose uh, performance on the court and enthusiasm um, and extra uh, outstanding performance has brought extra excitement to the crowd. The finalists for female crowd pleaser of the year are Female crowd pleaser, Erica Nish, volleyball. Amanda Robinson, softball. Natalie Young, soccer. And the Wolverine Award goes to Erica Nish. <laughs> was named an all-great West Conference first team player this past season after she finished second in the conference in service aces, third in blocks, and fourth in hitting percentage. Erica's masterful serves, powerful attacks, and big blocks helped make her a crowd favorite all season long. Erica Nish. And the finalists for male crowd pleaser of the year are Male crowd pleaser, Josh Swinson, baseball. Keith Thompson, basketball. Isaiah Williams, basketball. And the Wolverine Award goes to Keith Thompson. On the back end of several spectacular alley-oops, Keith Thompson wowed the crowds with his athleticism and high-flying leaping ability. KT had a big senior season for the Wolverines, earning honorable mention all-conference after he averaged nine points and four rebounds and also blocked 34 shots on the season. Keith Thompson.
Presenting the award for the Wilson Sorensen Spirit of Sport Award are men's golf coach, Chris Curran, and marketing assistant, Jero Smith. The Wilson Sorensen Spirit of Sports Award goes to the student athlete who best exemplifies the spirit of sportsmanship and teamwork. This award also goes to the student athlete who is willing to put the team ahead of themselves and is willing to sacrifice for the good of the team. An individual who values the true meaning of good sportsmanship. The female finalist for the Wilson Sorison Spirit Sports Award. Female Wilson Sorison Spirit of Sport Award. Rachel Anderson, volleyball. Chelsea Baker, outdoor track and field. Jenna Johnson, basketball. And the Wolverine Award goes to Jenna Johnson, women's basketball. Jenna lost her starting spot this past season, but did not complain as she came back strong late in the season and was Coach Nixon's sixth woman of the year. The shooting guard did not let her bad knees bother her either as she surpassed the 1,000 career point mark in her final home game of her career. She also helped lead UVU to another Great West title game by averaging 15 points a game in the Great West Conference Tournament. Jenna Johnson. The male finalists for the Wilson Sorensen Spirit of Sports are Male Wilson Sorensen Spirit of Sport Award, Trevor Baker Cross Country, Austin Heaps Baseball, Blake Mangum Wrestling. And the Wolverine Award goes to Blake Mangum Wrestling. Blake returned home from an LDS mission early in the season and immediately made an impact on the mat by winning a title at his first tournament back, the UVU Open. He then went on to bump up a weight class and wrestle the rest of the year in the Wolverine starting lineup. Blake was the lone UVU wrestler to pick up a win against number two Penn State and finished the season by placing fourth at the NCAA West Regional. Blake Mangum. Here to present the Wolverine Service Award and Walk-On of the Year is Assistant Athletic Director for Compliance, Mark Chogany, and Assistant Trainer, Aaron Beave Levin. It's a pleasure to be here tonight to present the Service Award to a student athlete who has gone the extra mile through their service within the community. Thank you to all the student athletes who gave their time and their talent to benefit the community in which we live. You truly have made an impact in the lives of many. The service award is given to the male and female athlete who makes a positive impact in the community and among their teammates. And the finalists for the athletic service award are... Service award. Alex Exxon, baseball. Avery Garner, wrestling. Kelly Roach. Track and field. The award goes to Kelly Roach. Kelly is not only a student athlete, but also a mom. Finding time to balance academics, athletics, and motherhood 
is surely a challenge, but she has been able to excel at each one. She made the NCAA Regional in Javelin last year and has been heavily involved in service, becoming a vital contributor to SAC and always striving to do anything she can to help others around her. Kelly Roach. The Walk-On of the Year Award is given to the student athlete who started the current academic year with no athletic scholarship and has contributed to the team in a significant way. And the male finalists for the, excuse me, and the finalists for the male Walk-On Award are... Male Walk-On of the Year, Craig Brimhall, Baseball, Mark Jones, Outdoor Track and Field, Ethan Smith, Wrestling, And the Wolverine Award goes to Mark Jones. Mark walked onto the track and field team after serving an LDS mission and immediately became one of the best throwers on the squad. At the conference championships a year ago, he finished third in the javelin and just missed qualifying for the NCAAs by less than 24 inches. This year, he's already won the javelin both the UVU Invitational and the UVU ISU Duel. Mark Jones. And the finalists for the Female Walk-On of the Year are... Female Walk-On of the Year, Brianna English, Softball, Tasha Sanborn, Basketball, Allie Shields, Outdoor Track and Field. And the Wolverine Award goes to... Allie Shields. who's known for her singing ability after appearances on American Idol and the Ellen DeGeneres show, is also a school record holder in the triple jump as she broke the record three separate times during the indoor season. Allie is also a conference champion in the pentathlon, heptathlon, long jump, triple jump, and 100 meter hurdles. Allie Shields. Here to hand out the Educators and Academic Advisor of the Year Awards are Assistant Soccer Coach Tasha Bell and Vice President for Development and Alumni Mark Archambault. When I was a student athlete here at Utah Valley University, I had the chance to learn from many exceptional professors and was guided along the path to graduation by wonderful academic advisors. Tonight, we get the chance to honor some of the best. The award for Educators of the Year is given out annually to deserving individuals who go above and beyond their teaching duties to enrich the lives of students. The following individuals were nominated by student athletes for exceptional teaching methods and dedication to UVU students. Our first award winner for the Educator of the Year goes to an instructor from the English and Literature Department. Let's give a round of applause for Christopher Lee. Our second award for Educator of the Year is given to an associate professor from the School of Business. Please give, please give a round of applause for Taggart Frost.
There are special campus employees who often take the time to assi assist student athletes by going the extra mile. This is the first year we will be giving out an Academic Advisor of the Year Award to an extraordinary advisor who has helped student athletes transition into the college experience. Ladies and gentlemen, please give a warm welcome to our Academic Advisor of the Year winner from the ha Behavioral Science Department, Kristen Campbell. Ladies and gentlemen, please prepare yourselves for a brilliantly choreographed dance number from your soccer and wrestling teams. Ladies and gentlemen, here to present the certificates for 4.0 GPAs for the fall semester and the Scholar Athletes of the Year, please welcome Chief Planning Budget and Policy Officer and Wolverine Club Board Member Linda Macon and Vice President of Academic Affairs, Dr. Ian Wilson. That's all you can do. <laughs> 
we thought about a flash mob up here, but we didn't know what we'd do. So it is so wonderful to be here to honor those student athletes who have excelled in the classroom. What an amazing accomplishment it is to achieve a 4.0 GPA while participating at the highest level of NCAA athletics. Your dedication to academics and athletics will take you far in life as you continue to achieve great things beyond your graduation here at UVU. Receiving a 4.0 GPA is not an easy task, especially when you are doing your homework in a bus, on a plane, or in a hotel room. Receiving this honor is a true indication of the type of student athlete you really are. It is with great distinction that we present certificates to the 25 student athletes who have received a 4.0 in the fall semester of 2011. As your name is read, please come to the stage to be presented with a certificate of your achievement and then stay with us so that we can get a group photo. From baseball, Craig Brimhall, Billy Burgess, Tyler Hansen, and Cole McWhirter. From men's basketball, Holton Hunsaker. From women's basketball, Casey Mansfield and Erica Newbold. From women's golf, Hannah Herman. From women's soccer, Haley Curtis and Brianne Larson. From women's track, Lindsey Bryant, Kalina Clay, Alexa Esplin, Sally Hansen, Makira Kwan, Zandria Nelson, and Kellyanne Olson. From men's track, Zachary Cook, Spencer Evanson, and Jacob Zander. From men's wrestling, Jared Maines. And from women's volleyball, Rachel Anderson. Ladies and gentlemen, your 4.0 GPAs. Ian, I think you may have found your academic dream team. This is wonderful. Yeah, it is. Congratulations again. A great accomplishment. Dr. Wilson and I are now pleased to recognize the Scholar Athletes of the Month and award both the male and female Scholar Athletes of the Year. During the year, each sport is represented by a Scholar Athlete of the Month, recognizing the athlete's commitment to both their sport and their work in the classroom. The monthly honorees are then eligible for the Scholar Athlete of the Year Award. Here are the finalists for the Female Scholar Athlete of the Year. Female Scholar Athlete of the Year, Camille Broderick, Soccer. Jordan Dougal, Golf. Chelsea Heaps, Volleyball. Casey Mansfield, Basketball. Zandria Nelson, Track and Field. Marie Williams, Softball. And the Wolverine Award for Female Scholar Athlete of the Year goes to Zandria Nelson.
Alexandria is a multiple school record holder in both the indoor and outdoor 400 meter dash and the 4 x 400 meter relay. She is also the reigning indoor conference champion in the 400 meter dash, the 4 x 400 meter relay, and placed second in the 200 meter dash. Zandria holds a near perfect 3.96 GPA in communications and will graduate with honors next week. Zandria Nelson. The finalists for the Male Scholar Athlete of the Year are... Male Scholar Athlete of the Year, Billy Burgess, Baseball. Holton Hunsaker, Basketball. Joey Olson, Golf. Tim Roberry, Track and Field. Josh Wilson, Wrestling. And the Wolverine Award for Male Scholar Athlete of the Year goes to Billy Burgess. Burgess is a four-year starter for the UVU baseball team and has helped the program to over 100 wins during his time as a Wolverine. Burgess has a cumulative 3.85 GPA and had a perfect 4.0 in the fall while majoring in exercise science. A career 328 hitter, Burgess ranks third all-time in RBIs and fourth in career home runs at UVU. Billy Burgess. Handing out the award for the Male and Female Games of the Year are Director of Corporate Partnerships, Micah Howard, and Director of Men's Basketball Operations, Rob Goudreau. You know, Rob, we've had some amazing games this year. I've been to many of them and have felt the electricity in the air as the Wolverines have been victorious. The Game of the Year Award is given to the team or individual who has created energy, excitement, and notoriety for UVU athletics. And the finalists for a female Game of the Year are... Women's Game of the Year. Women's Cross Country wins the Great West Conference Championship. Women's Basketball defeats North Dakota on the road. Women's Soccer beats SCSU and wins the Great West Conference Championship. The Wolverine Award for the Female Game of the Year goes to Cross Country. Despite redshirting a number of their main contributors this season, the women's cross country team maintained its tradition of excellence by winning its fourth straight Great West Conference title. UVU's first five finishers all placed in the top 12, with Shalise Walker leading the way by placing second overall. The finalists for male game of the year are... Men's game of the year. Wrestling defeats Stanford on the road. Baseball knocks off number four, Arizona. Men's golf wins the battle of the Tetons. The Wolverine Award for the Male Game of the Year goes to baseball. Just two weeks ago, the UVU baseball team hosted their first ever ranked opponent when fourth ranked Arizona of the Pac-12 rolled into Brent Brown ballpark. Jeremy Genlick pitched seven strong innings, including five innings of no-hit baseball, while Goose Kalunky homered and pitcher Josh Swinson struck out the final batter of the game, 
clinching a 5-4 win for the Wolverines. It was the second win this season for Utah Valley against a ranked school and brought the program national attention. Here to present our graduating seniors with graduation cords and senior blankets are athletic director Mike Jacobson and assistant athletic director Jared Sumption. It is amazing how fast four years can go by and we are privileged to be able to recognize all of our hardworking seniors this night. Each year we present senior blankets to our student athletes who have completed all of their athletic eligibility and have applied for graduation. Keeping up with an athletic tradition, we will present a graduation cord to all letter winner athletes who will be walking in this year's graduation ceremony. The graduation cord represents your time at UVU as a student athlete and can be worn on graduation day with Wolverine pride. As each senior's name is read, please come forward to the stage. From baseball, Cole Michelayo. Jake Rickenback. From men's basketball, Rory Fannin. Geddes Robinson. Isaiah Williams. And Kevin Woods. From women's basketball, Abby Butler. Jenna Johnson. Erica Newbold. From men's golf, Nick Tarasevich. From women's golf, Abby Archibald Brown. Stacy Parkinson Jones. From men's track and field and cross country, Andrew Clark. From women's track and field cross country, Chelsea Baker. Kalina Clegg. Amanda Morse Ballard. Kelly Roach and Zandria Nelson. From women's soccer, Camille Broderick, Ashley Burdett, Brianne Larson, and Jamie Lines. From softball, Amanda Perez. From volleyball, Sarah Clement, and Chelsea Heaps. From wrestling, Josh Wilson, and Richard Winger. our graduating student athletes a round of applause. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, making her off-Broadway debut, please welcome to the stage track and field athlete, sophomore Ally Shields.
makes you To present the Team GPA, Team Green, and the Team of the Year awards are Student Body President Elect Chad Workman and Vice President Elect of Student Activities Clara Lefevre. I uh, I want to give Allie another round of applause. That was great. Could you join me in that? Yeah. Okay, Clara, I got to get in the zone. Ready? Okay. Okay. Now I'm ready. All right, we are here tonight to give out a pair of team awards and overall team of the year award. The first award goes to the team that excelled most in the classroom. The team GPA award is given to the team with the highest combined GPA for the 2011 spring and fall semesters. This team finished with a 3.64 GPA, which ranks them among the highest team's GPA in the entire country. The Wolverine award for team GPA goes to women's golf. With a combined GPA of 3.64 in the spring, summer, and fall semesters, the women's golf team carried the highest GPA of any team at Utah Valley University. Congratulations on taking care of business both on the course and in the classroom. The team GPA award winner, the women's golf team. All right, the Team Green Award goes to the team who supports the Wolverine Club through the UV3 program, who best supports the other teams by going to their events and who participates the most with them all. The Wolverine Award for Team Green goes to soccer. Bryn Anderson's soccer team had an 85% UV3 contribution rate, participated with mall activities, and could be found attending many other UVU athletic events. On the field, they were the Great West Conference regular and postseason champions. Ladies and gentlemen, the Team Green Award winner, UVU's women's soccer team. We have enjoyed much success this year in Wolverine Athletics, and it is an honor to recognize our Team of the Year. The Team of the Year Award goes to the team who has excelled athletically, bringing praise to Wolverine Athletics and the university. When the team name is read, we would like to invite a captain to the stage to accept the award on behalf of the team. And the Wolverine Award for Team of the Year goes to Men's Track and Field. The 
UVU men's track and field team has had success not only as a team, but also with outstanding individual performances. The Wolverines won their first ever Great West Conference Indoor Track and Field Championship in Sterling, Illinois in late February by 101 points over Houston Baptist University. At that meet, two indoor school records were broken. Matt Williams broke a 14-year-old pole vault mark while Joshua McCabe set a new school record in the 5,000 meters. The men are again favored to win the outdoor championship next month in Houston after their comfort behind win last spring in Orem at Hal Wing Track and Field, where the 4x400 team set a school record time and won the outdoor title in dramatic fashion. The UVU Team of the Year, the men's track and field team. Here to present the Bronze Wolverine Award is Athletic Director Mike Jacobson and Associate Athletic Director Brad Mertz. Hold your applause, everyone, please. Don't get up. You're up. Yes, says Brad. They clap for Ian and Linda, for heaven's sakes. We yeah. didn't get nothing. They're important. They're... <laughs> oh, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> It's an honor to present the Bronze Wolverine Award to a couple who's been helping student athletes and Utah Valley University in various capacities for many years. This couple has given tirelessly to Utah Valley University and has made our dreams of one day having our own track and field facility become a reality. They are true lifelong friends of UVU and are deserving recipients of the highest distinction the Wolverine Club bestows upon its members. Before we invite uh, the recipient up today, I want you to know that uh, he deserves a major round of applause, if anyone does. Helen Brigetta Wing have been wonderful to Utah Valley University. His company is Little Giant, and I want you to know that Hal is a giant in the community and for UVU. So, ladies and gentlemen, please give a big round of applause to Hal and Brigetta Wing, the Bronze Wolverine Award. As pillars in the community, Hal and Brigetta Wing are deserving recipients of the Bronze Wolverine Award. Hal and Brigetta have touched many lives through their community service and charitable contributions. Wolverine Athletics is truly indebted to the Wing family for their contribution to our new track and field facility, which has allowed UVU to host and win a number of high quality events. Ladies and gentlemen, Hal and Brigetta Wing. You know, I can't match that pinstripe suit, but I can do with the socks. <laughs> I, now, I've done every move that our, our athletes did up here in my lifetime, but never on purpose. It's always been when I wrecked my dirt bike. Um, you know, when I go to work at my office, I look around and I say, Hal, you are nothing without your people. This is a wonderful institution, and there's a nice facility out there, and nice facilities throughout the university. But I want you to know something. This university is nothing without you. You are what make it happen. And my hat's off to you. I'm proud of you. Keep it up. Thank you. Now, please welcome to the stage Vice President for Finance and Administration, Val Peterson, and Senior Associate Athletic Director, DJ Smith. Thank you, I appreciate that. DJ, when I heard I was going to present with you, several people came up to me and gave me some advice, and it was that I was not supposed to let you tell a joke, because you have a marvelous reputation throughout the institution for your jokes, but you were back there telling me that you have this wonderful joke tonight to tell everybody, and that you've been practicing, and so I've decided to relent and let you tell your joke. So go ahead, DJ. Okay, tell well, joke. Uh, it's not really a joke. It's actually a true uh, amusing anecdote. No? And so I just want to put in a plug for our baseball team. Uh, you probably know that they're on a 15-game winning streak. Pretty Isn't that amazing. phenomenal? 15-game yeah. winning streak. 
And you've probably seen our wonderful first baseman, Goose Kalunki, play. Absolutely, yeah. That's a great baseball name, that Goose Kalunki. Absolutely well, wonderful. Goose is just fantastic, wonderful at the plate. And in the field, he reminds me a lot of Michael Jackson. Really? Yeah. They Why both, is that? Uh, well, uh, they, they both uh, seem to wear a glove for no apparent reason. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, the tradition continues, so. <laughs> DJ and I are here to announce this year's most outstanding female athletes and the overall female athlete of the year. Each sport has selected its most outstanding athlete. Those selected athletes will be finalists for the athlete of the year. The following athletes are all finalists for the 2012 Female Athlete of the Year. As your name is read, please come to the stage to receive your award. This sophomore right fielder is the reigning PCSC Freshman of the Year and is already a two-time Conference Player of the Week this season. She's led the Wolverines in the batter's box all season long this year as she tops the team in hitting, home runs, and RBIs. From softball, Amanda Robinson. This senior middle blocker was named the Great West Conference Player of the Year after she led the entire conference in blocks and attack percentage. She was also named the Conference Player of the Week three times from volleyball, Sarah Clement. This sophomore forward was named the Conference Player of the Year after she led her team to both the Great West regular season and tournament titles. She also led the conference in goals with 12, finished second in assists with six. From soccer, Natalie Young. This junior forward was recently named the Great West Conference Player of the Year after she averaged a double-double for the season and helped her team to a second-place conference finish. She posted 15 double-doubles and set a single-game school record by grabbing 21 rebounds in a game. From women's basketball, Sammy Jensen. This senior distance runner was a first-team all-conference selection after she was UU's top finisher in every competition this season. She also finished second overall at the Great West Conference Championships and in the top 50 at the NCAA Regional Cross Country. From Cross Country, Shalise Walker. <laughs> She's not here tonight, so accepting our award. <laughs> this senior sprinter is a multiple school record holder and won the 400 meter dash and the four by 400 meter relay at the Great West Conference Indoor Championships. She also has qualified for the NCAA Championships in the 400 meter dash at the end of May. From indoor track and field, Zandria Nelson.
Last year, this multi-event track and field athlete was named the Great West Conference Female Athlete of the Year. This came after she won numerous events at the conference championships, which included shattering a school record and conference record in the heptathlon. She is also a multiple school record holder and now has her sights set on competing in the Olympics. From outdoor track and field, Jara Zog Hansen. <laughs> This true freshman has already broken or tied every single school record, and she has the lowest scoring average on the team and the best finishes. She is already considered one of the best players in school history. From golf, Lynn Marie Nagel. And the 2012 Wolverine Award for Female Athlete of the Year goes to, from women's basketball, Sammy Jensen. Sammy was recently named the Great West Conference Player of the Year after she averaged a double-double of 13.4 points and 10.1 rebounds a game and helped the Wolverines to a second-place finish in the Great West Conference. The junior was a three-time Conference Player of the Week during the year and finished with 15 double-doubles for the season. Sammy was UVU's most consistent player all season long, shooting 42% from the field and 82% from the free throw line. Sammy Jensen! Um, really, it's a team sport. Like, it's not an individual player, and so I, I really couldn't be here without my team and my coaches, and everyone's helping all the time and practice and school and teachers, and everyone's just a part of it. So I'd like to thank everyone for their support, and thanks for the award. To present the final awards for the evening, Vice President for Student Affairs, Corey Duckworth, and Wolverine Club Board President, Roger Wollstenholm. Roger, it's a pleasure to present with you tonight. We, uh, if, I, if we had a, an award for the fan of the year, Roger would be my choice. Thank He's you. in every activity there is. Let's give him a round of applause. Thank you, thank you. I love coming out and watching these kids. It doesn't get any better than this. <clears throat> well, congratulations to all our exceptional student athletes on your awards and recognitions this evening. It's truly been a remarkable year for Wolverine Athletics. We will be announcing the outstanding male athletes by sport and handing out the final award of the evening for Male Athlete of the Year. As your name is read, please come to the stage. This junior, 149 pounder, wrestled his way all the way to the NCAA championships this season after he placed second at the NCAA West Regional. He wrestled more than half of his matches against ranked opponents and defeated five of them, which included two All-Americans from, from wrestling, Josh Wilson. This senior first baseman was a second team all-conference player a year ago and helped his team win their second straight Great West regular season and tournament title. This season he leads the entire Great West in hits, 
home runs, RBIs, and total bases. Hailing from Orem High School, and now, of course, UVU from Baseball Goose Kalunki. This senior guard was named a first-team all-conference player for his second straight year after he led UVU in scoring and to its first Great West Conference Championship. He also led the Wolverines in their first-ever NCAA postseason tournament game by scoring 26 points in the first round of the CIT. From basketball, Isaiah Williams. <laughs> This sophomore distance runner was UVU's top finisher in every race this season and was a first team all-conference selection. He placed third overall at the conference championships and 55th at the NCAA regional. From cross country, Cliff Nielsen. This junior distance runner won the 5,000 and placed second in both the 1,500 and 10,000 meter races at the conference championships just a year ago. He just missed qualifying for the NCAAs in both the 1,500 and 5,000 in a combined time of less than two seconds. From outdoor track and field, Joshua McCabe. This junior sprinter is a three-time defending conference champion in both the 60 and 200 meter dash and holds four school records as well. He is now looking forward to representing his home country of Ghana in the 2012 Olympic Games in London. From indoor track and field, Ala Larea Akrong. This junior golfer won the Battle of the Tetons and has the best scoring average on the team. He has posted three top five finishes, five top ten finishes, and has been ranked as high as ninth in the country this year. From golf, Mason Casper. <laughs> And now, ladies and gentlemen, the 2012 Wolverine Award for Male Athlete of the Year goes to Isaiah Williams, men's basketball. basketball program's first ever All-American as a junior, Isaiah picked up where he left off by helping Utah Valley to their second straight Great West Conference Championship. Isaiah received first team All-Conference honors 
and was named the Great West Player of the Year by CollegeInsider.com. Isaiah led the team and the entire Great West Conference with 16.4 points a game and during the year became the fourth player in UVU's NCAA era to reach 1,000 career points. Isaiah led the Wolverines to a 9-1 mark in conference play and to the program's first 20-win season in five years. A 13-game winning streak not only set a new school record, but helped propel Utah Valley to its first ever postseason appearance at the NCAA level when it faced Weber State in the CollegeInsider.com postseason tournament. Isaiah Williams. Uh, first and foremost, I want to thank God uh, from, uh, for letting me live and to play out my dream. Uh, second, I want to thank all my teammates and uh, Coach Dick Hunsaker for giving me a chance. Uh, a lot of people thought I couldn't do it coming out of junior college. Um, he gave me a chance to keep playing and live my dream and to graduate. Um, and I want to thank my mom. She'll be here next week. So, uh, and dad, and just God <laughs> again. Thank you. Thank you for attending the 17th Annual Wolverine Club Athletic Awards. We appreciate your support and look forward to the 2012-2013 seasons. Please drive home safely and go Wolverines! It's international. Big Mega Radio Smasher. I had the time of my life And I never felt this way before And I swear this is true, and I owe it all to you. Oh, I had the time of my life, and I never felt this way before. And I swear this is true, and I owe it. Mirror, mirror. Oh. 